Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for this amateur featherweight title contest scheduled for five three-minute rounds and brought to you in association with Empire Grappling. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he has a perfect record of four wins. You want him in the red? Why not? Introducing first, in the red corner, he has the perfect record of four wins, no losses. He is the reigning UK Fighting Championship, bantamweight champion, representing the MMA Academy at KC Fight Base. Make some noise for Curtis the Pink Panther. Introducing in the blue corner with a record of three wins, no losses, representing Manchester Top Team. Next to is Montego Michel. Your referee in charge, Paul Crossley. Well, Jason, cage going set to close on our third amateur title fight. This one for the featherweight title. Curtis Campbell, the Pink Panther, fighting out of the red corner in the pink trunks takes on Manchester top teams Declan Fisher in the black and white tie shorts and despite only seven fights between the two of them these are certainly two of the most outstanding prospects in the featherweight division I think yeah every time I've seen these two fights it's been uh, exciting scenes Campbell he just absolutely loves being in there you can tell you get that you get that shine off him absolutely buzz off being there he's a really talented young fighter Fisher's going to push him tonight, though. Holds numerous titles at bantamweight, amateur titles at bantamweight, and now making the step up because as he grows, cutting that weight is killed. So we could have a double champion here. Yeah, we're looking to make it champ champ. His last fight was at featherweight against another UKFC favorite, Steph Murray. That was on another promotion. He won that by unanimous decision. And now looks to vie for his second title. But Declan Fisher, I've got to tell you, coming out of Manchester top team, he, oh... He is deadly as well. His last fight on UKFC was against Hayden Sheriff, and he won that by a soccer kick to the body. Yeah, uh, after the knee to the body, one of my favorite things I've ever seen. But oh, Curtis Campbell just the... rolling. Great scramble, though, from Declan there. Yeah, ferocious pace from these two already. And, of course, Campbell not having to cut those, those extra pounds now, fighting at featherweight. Going to see if that, what it positive impact that has on the cardio not that it was a problem for him yeah. well there, there was for the marlon jones fight where he fought for uk fc title leap there was a real issue with the weight cut so he, he i mean well, i spoke to him and he uh, he really struggled and then after that we were thinking what sort of effect would that have on the performance one of the best performances None. i've seen hey, he told me just before that fight that yeah it was a tough weight but the rehydration process he went through was spot on i'm just not sure you want to keep putting your young body through that and he pushes a relentless pace, Campbell, he's absolutely non-stop. Rice being forced constantly to react. He gets thrown down, post back up, doing all the right things to still open his feet, oh. but Campbell just does not let up. And again, when you look at now the combination of KC Fight Base and the MMA Academy, it, it's, it's a scary prospect. It is, absolutely. You, you know, oh. and, and more and more gyms are starting to do, we're seeing the yeah. rise of some, some, some more MMA gyms because of their relationships with each other. Uh, and I'm going to say, because we, we, KC Fight Base was one way you used to have, like, you almost thought them as filler fights, but yep. now they've turned to killers as far as the skill sets that they, they've really developed, the, the mentality they've got there. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's from the top down. Uh, they, I mean, they're a joy to talk to, the, the, the coaches and all the people associated with that gym. And then add to that the, the likes of Jason Tan and the, the bodies they've yeah. got over at the MMA Academy. It's phenomenal. Campbell here is looking comfortable on top, but Declan Fisher continues to scramble to try and move. And Declan Fisher on, on the other side of that coin, his gym, Manchester top team, one of the uh, most uh, emerging gyms as far as they've only been really around for a couple of years and then you look at the bodies they've got over there the success they're having and those positions that Declan Fisher was in on his back he will be very used to them training over at, at Manchester top team they've got a, a huge wrestling base over there on top of the exquisite striking prowess as well so it won't be unfamiliar territory but but Jay what what's he need to do differently going into round two well the thing is with that one Campbell's 
absolutely giving him no respite at all on the fence. He's switching from trips to throws to going for the legs. And what that's that means, means that pitchers can't set into one specific defense. And, you know, like I say, that's great to Campbell. Yeah, he's absolutely relentless in attacking that. But I'd like to see Fisher, you know, he's not necessarily doing the, the wrong thing, but it's just the, the change of attack from one type of takedown to another that's really, uh, that's really throwing him off. Once he's on his back, he's kept himself safe for the most part. He needs, uh, needs to be working on something offensive, though, because first round's out of the way. Not going in his favour, but he didn't really get much chance to let off any of his own offence, so... Yeah, I mean, the credit to Campbell more so than him actually doing much wrong there. Didn't need a lot of shots, though. Oh, that low cut sweeps the leg away. Fires one back. That's yeah, sometimes a tell. One back. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's again. Twice now. And it's inside to the calf. And it's a great way to take that base away because you can really get your foot right behind that knee. Yeah. Pretty dangerous, like, south four to orthodox stance like that. If, uh, if Fisher just turns that knee in a little bit, if uh, Campbell does throw it hard, it's, it only takes a little turn in to do some damage to the kicker as opposed to the oh, oh, kicker. That's good, great shot, left. nice. But as soon as he eats that shot, allows Fisher to walk in, changes level. Yeah, Fisher doing a good job inside position there with butterfly <laughs> hooks and his arms on the inside. And then all of, like an anaconda, dives in and wraps those legs up. Yeah, triangled the leg, and you see he's got his uh, his left leg over the top as well, which makes it extra hard for uh, Fisher to be able to get his legs free. And he's just sat on the knees, pinching them together. Look at the way really he uses difficult. his head as well. Just buries that under the arm, sticks that right into the face there of Declan Fisher, trapping the, the right arm of his. And Fisher forced to turn, and what happens there is sometimes he'll give up the back. You think he's going to pop a knee out. As soon as he can get one knee out, then he can make frame, make space. Campbell doing a good job of gliding again between positions. Yeah, and, and staying strong on top, looking to try and... Oh, he properly got and take, he's, taken he's, the back properly now and starting to hammer away. Oh, oh my goodness. Shots coming in from These are some big shots coming in from... Campbell looking for the finish here in round number two. Declan Fisher try, looking to survive, trying to turn into it, trying to find a position, but Campbell relentless at the moment. Absolutely, he's giving Referees. no fight. He can't turn one way or the other. Oh, that enough. is it. And Curtis... C champ, champ, Curtis Campbell. I'm going to say it now. This Curtis Campbell is an amateur to keep an eye on. He is not going to be an amateur forever. And when he goes pro, he could cause some trouble for L people. Listen, look at that skill set. That is a professional skill set that he is dishing out problems to everyone in bantamweight and now featherweight. Two titles over his shoulder now. And against Declan, Declan Fisher is legit as well. I've seen no him fight many times. I've seen him train as well. He is a, a super talented and he will be back. He will learn lessons from this without a doubt. But sometimes you meet somebody at a point in their career when they are just unstoppable. Right. And that's what Curtis Campbell feels to me. You said it. Three titles over his shoulder. Fifth fight. Mad. Crazy. Yeah, still a young guy as well, with so oh. much further to go. Got the right attitude. Look, I mean, he brings a crowd. The, the people love him. And, and he's definitely a name to keep an eye on for the future. Curtis Campbell is just, well, he's a belt collector now. Steve. Three title fight, three wins in five amateur contests. Canadian Steve, the Campbell match. Got him. But it's hard not to be likeable kid as well. He's got a building like Persona with a pink panty. You know, really likeable kid, along with his skill set. Yeah, looking forward to watching him every time. One of the most unassuming. If you saw this kid on the street, you wouldn't think killer. Put him in the cage, and he is a killer. Well done, Curtis Campbell. Let's turn this one over to Mr. Brian Lacey to crown our new amateur featherweight champion. Winner by TKO and new amateur featherweight champion, Curtis
Congratulations. Well, come this way, brother. There you go. Bantamweight champion. You want to see how pretty I am, right? Bantamweight champion, featherweight champion, and you once more, Curtis Campbell. Come on. How does this feel, my man? How does this feel? Um, you know, amazing. But after all these, it's been coaches, friends, me, me, me sponsors, everyone over here to support me. It's them, it's not me. They have me to do it every day. So, big thank you to them. My first event at UK Fighting Championship was UK's Fighting Championship number eight. The opening bout of that fight, of that card, a little guy about this big with funny hair and glasses came out and he murked his opponent. I have watched you rise, not just through this promotion, but as a fleet, as a person. Just sum up what the journey has been like and what's next. How far are you going to go? All the way to the top. As long as you got these people around me, I'm the other coach, John, who can't be here tonight. Go to the top. There's no words about it. You know, um, just a big thank you to these. That's, that's it, really. I couldn't have done anything without them. Well, listen, it is an absolute honor to call your fights. I truly believe you are destined for huge things, my brother. Get up, enjoy yourself. This is your champion, Curtis Campbell.